hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well today i know i am this is your first time here hi my name is iliana and i am on my debt-free journey trying to pay off over 100k in credit card car loan and student loans and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so glad you could join me so today i will be doing my may budget and it's kind of exciting because i have some stickers here from life in envelopes that i will be using for the budget mom may setup so i'm really excited it's my first time using the life in envelopes budget mom stickers so yay but let's look at the quote for this month never allow someone to tell you that you can't do it use their negativity as fuel to prove them to prove them wrong that is such a great quote. So let's do some setting up. All right. So here we have the monthly setup. And I got these stickers that were called Australia. I thought it just screamed, you know, spring vibes. So I got the whole, um, the whole layout that she has. I don't know what it's called. The full size monthly budget mom. I, I don't remember what it's called. Let me look at the, the complete pack. So yeah, it's a complete pack for the whole month. So yay. Can't wait to see how to do this. I didn't. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We have the number dots. Great. We have the Monday to Friday. And then we have this. This is the monthly spread sheet. So at least she, <laughs> she names them for me. So I know where to put everything. All right, so I'm going to fast forward this just so that ways we don't take up too much time. But I do have a code down below that you can get, I believe, 15% off. So if you like it, then definitely get it. I love this theme. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so it took me a while to get this done, but I'm sure it didn't take, I'm sure it was only a few minutes for you guys. So, yeah. Huh. Now that I'm looking at this, I wonder why she didn't put a May on here. Hmm questions I had I asked right right 
All right, so I'm going to fill this out in a separate video because it's going to take too long. But, yeah, I love it. So pretty. I just wish she would have had, like, a May sticker here because this is already covering it. So, and then I have these cute payday stickers that I will be using when I do my monthly layout. Okay, next one. Right, this is actually turning out to just be a set it up and go kind of thing. All right. So. Cute. Set up bingo, set up bingo. And of course, whatever I don't use, I will just reuse in a different part. Okay, so I'm not going to use all these right now because I do want to get to the budget portion. But as you guys could see, that's how it's set up. All right. So let's get to the good stuff the budget. All right. So we're going to make this budget for May. All right. So let's zoom it in a little bit. All right. So we got pay income. It's going to be paycheck. Two paychecks this month. And then pay Paycheck two. All right. So I'm budgeting 1100 again. That seems to be a good number for me. Oop. Sorry. And I guess I'll add in here extra because I do get mileage and I went to an event on Friday that I got paid for and they do give us money for it so i'm gonna put 10 bucks here because i had to add that with another event mileage so i think that should be good so that's gonna be about two thousand two hundred and ten dollars that i should be working with all right so bills 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 we have rent now, this rent here is going to be for June, because I already paid May's. And this one's going to be due on the 1st. It's going to be $300. Then we have electric. I already paid that for May because of my third paycheck. So I'm going to put that in June. I believe it's 6.3. And I'm going to do it at 180. Just so. It's been around 170s, 180s. Just depends. Then we got Verizon. For this month. And I believe it's going to be 5.30. And I'm just going to round it up to 85. Because it's been around 84 and change. Then we have Target, which I paid already for this month because of my extra paycheck. And that's going to be on due on the 7th. And I'm going to do 50. Then we have Naviant. And since I only have one Naviant, it's going to be relatively easy to know which one it is so it's going to be due i believe the third for 137 and then do i owe anything else hmm usually i have like a paper or something here but i have rent electric verizon target and Aviant. my car payment can't forget that cap one 
that is usually due around the 25th. So, 525. 308 is what I'm paying. And then we have Geico. And Geico is due on the 13th. It is usually around 110, I want to say. So I have Rent, Electric, Verizon, Target, Navient, Cap One, Geico. Hmm. Why do I feel like I have more and I don't? Hmm. I guess that's what happens when you pay off bills. <laughs> All right, so that's it, I guess. So we're going to do, add it up, 300 plus 180 plus 85 plus 50 plus 137 plus 308 plus 110 equals $1,170. If we subtract 2210 minus 1170 equals leftover $1,040. All right, then we have envelopes. Let's put the leftover here. We have groceries, which I'm gonna do 200. We have gas at 80, personal. I like the $100 every paycheck, so I'm gonna do 200. Food, the same thing. Okay. And then we have salt for, let's say, 30. I don't really buy salt that often, so let's do 200 plus 80 plus 200 plus 200 plus 30 equals 710. And if we subtract the 1,040 minus 710 equals 330 left over. That's sinking funds here. Um, I'm not going to write down all my sinking funds because you guys can just go back. But I'm just going to put put right here. Um, I don't really need to write it down, I guess. I think I'm going to do just write sinking funds. I think I'm gonna do 100 for sinking funds. And mind you, I'm not counting the money my mom's giving me back. So put 100 here. So it should be 230. Then let me zoom in somewhere. Extra debt, which will be towards car payment. I want to do um, another hundred. So if we put that down here, that'll make this one 30 left over. And then extra savings, we'll put challenges. And the regular savings that comes out automatically which is gonna be $20. So I'm gonna put 110 towards challenges. So it should be 130. Leftover is a zero. So, oh wait, shoot. You know what I forgot? Mother's Day. <laughs> Ugh, Mother's Day. You know what? I'll just leave Mother's Day alone. 
I'll take money from my personal that I get and put it towards Mother's Day. That'll make life easier. So there we go. That is my sinking funds. I'm trying so hard. I love this layout here. I'm trying so hard to stick with the zero based, even though I always have a cushion. But when it comes to my budget here, I'm trying to do it zero based. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. I would love it if you were part of my YouTube family. If you do like the stickers, I will link Jennifer Bleacher's Life in Envelopes but, um, channel as well as her Etsy down below in the description box as well as that discount code for you. So I will see you guys in the next one when I show you how to do my what I'm going to do for my monthly layout. See you guys. Bye.